If you feel like you don't have a good balance, think through your time and structure it. 100. 100% is what we're giving to you. <laughs>
I just, I, you start feeling burnt out and it's good to actually take that time because you're going to be more productive. Don't be self-destructive yeah. to your relationships or yourself. Or your body. Or your I body. take a break almost every single day between four, but around 4, 4.30 and I always, I've been going for a run. Ever since I started doing that, I have felt so much better. Yeah. A hundred, like I am, I just feel better. Yeah. We're going to get some food though and get a date on. <laughs> We are off to our picnic date, aka a teeny baby turtle's home. Where hundreds of turtles live. Just wait, you guys. They love these. Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers. There's me as a power puff with my little unicorn. That's from an app that I did. Ugh. You ready to eat some food, baby? Yep. We've made it out here and now we are going to find our spot to set up our picnic. It's gotta be close to the pond so Brandy can feed the turtles. Yes. But we are in, it's called the Mead Botanical Gardens in Winter Park and it's beautiful. <laughs> We got strawberry wafers, sweet tongue. Yummies. Oh, we got chocolate covered vanilla. Oh my gosh, those are gonna be good. Those are gonna be good. Another kombucha. Hope you guys like these, but these things are delicious. And I already started eating these in the car. <laughs> and sparkling water. So we're ready. And I know this video is not on perks of working remote, but this is a huge perk of working remote is that we get to, you know, we worked all this morning, but we get to take off and have a picnic. And then in at the middle. three o'clock. Yeah, it's just, it's so nice. It is beautiful. We feed the turtles these little crackers and so we've been we've been throwing them in and the turtles are finally coming you guys i'm gonna try to zoom in i'm actually filming on my iphone so i don't know how good this quality is gonna be but we're gonna try to hurt a bunch of the turtles over here if you get in the right spot in this pond no exaggeration there'll be like 30 or 40 turtles yeah. all eating mm -hmm. which is pretty cool found that they are actually really big fans of strawberry wafers so if you are like a, a pet or turtle something please don't yell at us for feeding them sugar oh my gosh that bird see that bird oh, it's huge <laughs> this is such a can't really see it And we are off. We are off. We had a fun little picnic and now we get to head back home and work. All right, so one of the fun things about our relationship is that majority of the time that we are hanging out and talking, um, we both talk in the future tense and we're both dreamers. 
Oh, yeah. Good and point. we actually took the Strength Finder. I've mentioned this before, but my top thing was futuristic. And I think your second one or something was futuristic. And which means you're like always sort of like planning, aspiring for. Yeah. Like what is to come. Thinking about what's what's next year and what's five years. And, and I think that really actually helps keep us motivated to keep going because it's just like that's where we both live. And then we're just so in sync. Yeah. If that makes sense, like we just had this amazing picnic to relax and Josh like lays down and he was just like talking about things in the future and he had asked me what one of my favorite things about being, being married, married since we've been married now a little over a year and that was one of my things is that I, that was one of his too I think that we yeah. can just sit and have these conversations about like what is to come and what we want and what we're how, working so hard for yeah and how we're gonna get there and how we can help one another and it's just like having those constant conversations all like every day it really helped to keep going like in every single area yeah. you know oh yeah for sure so little tidbit y'all <laughs> Kind of final thought on how to separate, have kind of work-life balance, which is this comes to the same, like if you're losing or destroying your productivity, you feel like you're going on a date and you're not getting anything done. It's actually clearly setting out your goals, clearly structuring your time. You'd be surprised on how well you can actually separate quality time with somebody and your work time when you clearly define it and think through it and actually structure it. That would be my biggest tip. If you feel like you don't have a good balance, think through your time and structure it. 100. 100% is what we're giving to you. <laughs> just it just turned into a musical. <laughs> you structure your time Josh and I know what we how we like to spend our time together we've done you know the love languages book yes. which helps with our relationship and our relationship side of things so that doesn't like like we understand each other yep. I feel yeah and then like during the day I mean I very much I chunk my time which I've talked about so many times Yes. And we talked about that earlier in the video where like I work on certain things for a certain period of time till they're completely like a hundred and hundred and ten percent done. And we also spend time with each other during certain periods of time in the day. So mm -hmm. structure your time, be intentional about it, think through it, give yourself the ability to actually structure your day. Don't just go into the day willy nilly. Mm -hmm. I used to do that. And then I'd be like really stressed. Yeah, because your day would disappear very quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. We hope you guys liked this video. It was a, probably a little shorter than our recent ones, but give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel below. Bye guys, hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.